Hello and welcome to The Real Unreal. This is the second episode of the Health and Damage series, where we will learn how to create a new actor that causes damage over time to our character, or any other actor with the health component. Let's get started. Project Setup We will continue from where we left in the previous video. Link in the description. Let's create a new actor that acts as a burning ground, dealing damage over time. The way this new actor will work is that we will have a fire particle system, a fire looping sound, a box collision component to detect overlaps, an array of all actors that overlap with the box so we can deal damage to them. And also, we will exclude all the actors that go outside the box so we stop damaging them and we will configure a timer that triggers an event that applies damage to all actors in the array. In the health and damage directory, create a new blueprint class and as the parent class, select actor. Name it BP underscore burning ground. Open it and create a new variable of type actor, selecting object reference and called actors to damage. Select the new variable and in the details panel, right to the variable type, you can change it from single to array, converting this variable in a list of the selected type, in this case, an array of actors. Now, let's add three components, one cascade particle system component and select the template P underscore fire, one audio component, and select fire zero one underscore Q as the sound. One box collision component. Set all the box extent values to 40 and also set location C to 40. So we align the box collision bottom with the default scene root component. Make sure that all the components have default scene root as the parent. If it's not the case, you can drag them and select Attach to change the parent of the component. Go to the event graph, delete all events except begin play, and select the box collision component. In the details panel, go to the event section and add the on component begin overlap event. The objective of this event is to check if the actor that just overlapped has a health component that we can interact with. For that, drag from other actor and select get component by class. In the parameter component class, select the health component. Now, to validate if the actor has a valid health component, we can use an is valid node, the one with the interrogation mark, because in case it doesn't have this component, the result of this get method will be invalid. If it's valid, add this actor to the actors to damage array using the add method from the array. Once more, select the box collision component and this time add the on component and overlap event. What we want to determine in this event is if the actor that is triggering it is inside the actors to damage array, so we can exclude it from it. Use the findItem method from actors to damage and pass in other actor as the parameter. This method returns the index of the item if found and returns minus one if not found. Use a branch node to check if a valid index was found with an index greater or equal to zero. In case is found, use the method remove index from the array actors to damage and pass in the found index. The next step is to create an event that will apply damage to all actors. From the begin play event, search for set timer by event. As the time, I will set 0.5 so the damage tick occurs two times per second. Also, set looping to true. Make some room. 
and from the event pin, drag and search for Add Custom Event. Name it Damage Tick. Here, add a for each loop from the Actors to Damage Array, and from every actor using the loop body and array element pins, call the apply damage method. Convert the base damage parameter to a variable doing right click and promote to variable, leave base damage as the name, make it editable, compile, and add the default value you want, which in my case will be 10. Compile, save, and add this new actor to the level. Press play and move and touch this actor. You will notice that when inside the box collision, you take 10 points of damage every half second. And if your health reaches zero, you die. Also, as we did our base damage variable editable, we can change this value from the details panel of the actor directly in the level, increasing or reducing it at will. And that's it for the second episode of Health and Damage series. I hope you like it. If so, I invite you to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and follow me on social networks. I'll be uploading Unreal Engine 5 tutorials frequently and right now I'm working on an entire course for beginners. Thank you for joining and hope to see you in the next video.